everybody, my name is Zell Prince, and welcome back to yet another video related to the back rims. Now, if you saw the latest posts I made in the community tab yesterday, I said that I was going to finish reacting to the rest of the back room videos by Pixel, Kane Pixels. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. And there's only three videos left, and they're very short. So like I did in part two, I am going to react to all of them in one video, one after another. And the videos will appear in order in video as they will not no, they will appear in the description in the order of how I reacted to them. So we're going to be reacting to autopsy report first. And without further ado, guys, I'm not going to delay this video really much. You know, the background terrifies me at times. I mean, you see me put up my defenses a lot during these videos, which is something I don't normally do when it comes to horror videos. So the back rooms really gets to me for some reason, and I don't know why. I guess it's just that anxiety of not knowing what's in every single room around every single corner. I guess that's why I put up my defenses. So I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and react to all these three last videos so we're completely updated and caught up to every back rooms videos by Kane Pixels. So I'm not going to delay any further. And let's get right into the video. In three, two, one, go. And I got water right next to me. Subject is male, um, somewhere between 18 and 21 years old. I estimate that the time of death was around five days ago, but due to the severe tissue damage, it's it's hard to say for sure. Damn. The cause of death was likely malnutrition. I was able it, to recover most is of the not digestive malnutrition. tract. That's decomposition, my friend. You call yourself a doctor, that looks more like decomposition. Things start to be Mutilation. Would consider to be natural. The decomposition process appears to have been there we go. Decomposition. stunted somehow. It's, it's like it's like portions of the body Ugh. stopped decaying and That's a kidney. were sustained. Other areas, however, were completely overtaken by culture. So, uh, I took uh, a couple samples of some of the material here. <clears throat> First, I, I thought it was a, an aggregate collection of pseudomenus fluorescence, but uh, it seems to be closer to a mutated strain of simple A. bacillus, which should be completely benign. Oh, where they found the body in the first video I reacted to back in part two. Well, oh, they're talking about that they, body, all right. I don't know what to make of this. Mr. Beck, may I ask uh, where this subject came from? I don't like the rundown of that music. What is happening? And we're just gonna abruptly end like that. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the ending part was more confusing than the autopsy part itself. So the b body that was found in the last video I reacted to was like the collage of the videos I reacted to. It was the body from that early video. One that was detected and found covered in like this moss and goop and everything else in the in that video. All right, makes sense. All right, so the next one we're going to react to is motion detected. This was uploaded two weeks ago from when I recorded this video. So it's four minutes long. It's the longest video for this uh, actual reaction video. Um. Don't know what to expect. I think I heard that there was a new anomaly detected 
well, not detected, uh, that was shown in a, in these videos, because I heard rumors fluctuating on the internet that a new anomaly was discovered for in the back rooms that I think was related to this video. I'm not entirely sure. So this is just me speculating on what I heard. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this bad boy in three, two, one, go. Another expedition. Oh, but it goes better than the last guy. He got separated. No idea if he made it back. My leg is killing me all of a sudden. My bad one. Setting up shop. I still wonder if these government guys created the back rooms or if they knew the back rooms was a thing and was trying to find a way to open a gate between reality and the back rooms themselves. So that's, I'm still speculating because I don't believe in the videos I heard last time that the back rooms was created by the government. I don't believe it, at least in, in terms of the back rooms lore i'm talking about not in real life if for anyone that was confused of what the hell i'm talking about i just want to make that clear i don't believe it was created by these guys i believe they just opened the gateway to the back rooms so they could explore it and find out what's going on in there that's what i think that's my theory and now they're just exploring it and trying to understand how the back rooms operate i'm doing the same thing like i did in the scp videos where i pause speculate and give you guys my theories and then move on because it's just my theory it's not it doesn't have to be true it doesn't have to be fact it's just what i'm speculating I thought luna was in the background for some reason <laughs> she was in the last one i still can't i still can't tell if these videos are seven modified video cameras are op optimally positioned along Lateral Division A. Each camera has been modified to send out an alert and begin recording when motion or sub sanual noise is detected. Yeah. Okay. Forgot my train of thought because this took me off, so I forgot what I was saying. This is animated or live action because the two different types of genres and it looks like it's a combination of both so game pixels you did yourself an excellent job a compilation of all detected motion alerts received during the night of Monday, March 5th. Nineteen hundred hours. Three, three researchers passed. What was it? Pass Central Division D. Hours, twenty hundred hours. I didn't take as central. There was only here's something to keep track of. There was just three researchers that went bye bye, and only two of them just came. Re were returning back. Keep that in note. Supervisor passes camera six. If I was in that room and I'm walking past that camera, I'm gonna go like this and then walk as I'm walking away because I I would definitely do that 100 hours Special barrier closed
hundred hours. Nice detected. DVD. This is one of the monsters. I guess it's motion and noise detected. Microphone failure. Oh, the sound. That static is Final Fantasy Freddy's one. Sound files. I know that because if Final Fantasy Freddy's is ten years old, not even eight years old, eight years old at this point, I remember that static from anywhere. Ah, my eye. Motion detected. No description. Oh, there it is. One over there. On the ceiling. See you, you little bastard. Is this the new anomaly people were talking about? Image upscaled plus enhanced. I mean, you got potato quality of video. I mean, it's the 1990s or something. Like it said in the beginning. That's going to be potato quality. Oh, that's it. Okay. So I guess that was one of the newer anomalies for the back rooms that have been discovered. At least made it by Kane Pixels, at least. Um, didn't really, don't really, doesn't really get the show in a lot of, what is David Ryan reacting to? I don't know what he reacted to. <laughs> but, all right. So that is it for Motion Tech. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click on the next one. I'll be right back, guys. All right, last one, folks. We're going to be finish this video by reacting to Prototype. Uh, from the look up the thumbnails, like a quantum phase generator or energy generator that was, that's being built and, I guess, getting ready to be test-fired in the back rooms. And a, hi, Luna. What are you doing here? The cat has joined us for the rest of the video. Oh, let me do my countdown. Three, two, one, go. Do it, Luna. We're in lovely mode, aren't you? Courtesy of Oak Ridge National Laboratory, conducted on May 10th, 1982, under the supervision of Philip R. Hammond? Hammond. Hammond. That's it. I didn't know what to expect. There was no, there's no description, so I don't know what to. There's a link. I think that's to his website. Well, anyway, um, I guess that's it for now, guys. In terms of the back rooms, uh, at least now I'm fully caught up on every video by Kane Pixels regarding the back rooms. So I will wait for more videos to come out in the future. And I'll continue to re be reacting to Kane Pixels when he uploads more videos in the future. So keep in mind for those, it will not be the last video. But it's the last video, at least for now. 
So that's really all I got to say. Prototype did not really explain much of anything to me, at least what I didn't understand. It was just, I guess, because I remember some of these shorter videos being said as um, lore videos and not really too massive, but I just want to react to every single one. So I make sure I am caught up to date and I am not missing any kind of information. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. Like and subscribe, all the stuff, guys, and I will see you in the next video. And Luna, what are you doing?